to this video. In this one, I'm just going to review FX Open. Um, interesting broker, fairly prominent on the scene at the moment, and 4.4 um, out of 204 reviews as a rating. So they're fairly new out there, and people are starting to come on to them. They're integrated now with TradingView as well, which is a really good standard to have. So if you're looking for a new broker, as always, you want to make sure their risk disclaimer is up here. Okay, they actually say 60% of retail investors uh, lose money when they're trading with this broker. I take that with a pinch of salt, to be honest, because it's rarely ever that low. Um, and you have to be careful over what time period that is. But the good thing is they've got that standard um, uh, you know, statement there at the top. So that's good point number one, as well as good point number two, which is their integrated with TradingView. They've obviously got a specific standard many of you know I stream there a lot um, don't forget as well underneath this video is my free training and you can grab it and start learning today if you look under here as well it ticks the box telling you that they've got their risk warning okay they're also regulated by the financial conduct authority in the UK you have to check the relevant body for wherever you are so we know they're regulated, we know they've got their disclaimers, we know they're on trading view, that's a good start. Now, there's a few stats about them as well. 1 million plus registered traders, 3.9 million open accounts. So obviously, a lot of people have accounts with FX open. You've also got 17 years on the market. They may have only just opened up their review service, which is why the reviews are low. Um, you can have a personal account, as you can see at the top left, a pro account and institutional account. So that fits basically the three main categories of how people are trading. Um, and you can see as well, it's a true ECN broker, so electronic communications network broker. You basically be trading with other market participants where the spread isn't controlled, although you may pay a fee accordingly. So just off the bat, they open various accounts. Now it's good to have a look at the markets they offer, global markets, Forex indices, commodities, shares, ETFs, so pretty much standard. It would more or less just come down to how many they offered. Um, as you know, sites like uh, CMC have got 12,000 markets. Um, 50 FX markets normally covers basically everything everyone wants to trade anyway, um, which, is, which is fine, really. I would say 50, at least sort of 30 to 40 would be my bare minimum. But 50 is about average and means you've got... Um, a good range there. You can say the minimum trade size is one micro lot, which is also good. So you can start off very small, especially if you're using a, a demo account. You can see the spread very, very tight, 0 0.00001 or two at times, and very, very tight spreads on there. It widens slightly for um, other pairs, but overall it's still pretty tight, which is really good actually, the tightness of those spreads. Of course, that's probably because they're an ECN broker, as you can see. So you'll have to pay for that somewhere else, probably with fees. Um, but obviously, because of the spread being so low, um, it's 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 more negligible. Um, you can see they've got live spread 0.9 on um, indices UK 100. Uh, normally, you've got spread of about one point, so 0.9 is slightly better. But again, relating to what I just said, um, that can vary based on their transaction fees. Um, you can see they offer commodities, gold, silver, etc., natural gas. Um, I'm sure they will offer uh, oil somewhere on there. You can see we've got it here, XTI USD. Um, then they've got stocks, okay, various stocks, not a huge amount, it seems. So probably not for you if you want to trade stocks. I would use something like CMC. Same if you trade a wide range of commodities. Mainly this is an FX broker, more or less. Um, for people who want to trade FX, this is probably fairly ideal, especially if you are swing trading because the spreads are tight and also, um, you know, you would only pay a fee once. Uh, they trade, you know, there's various cryptos you can trade, mainly Ethereum, Bitcoin, etc., Litecoin, the new, um, the, the main sort of uh, crypto stable coins. So that might be ideal for you as well. But overall, this is mainly an FX broker and you really just want to trade it. Um, in that way so if you trade fx you can use mt4 etc probably the most uh, recommended you can interview a trading view like i said mt5 and um, i personally prefer mt4 because i'm used to it or tip trader as well so i've got an economic calendar a few resources as well overall it's a pretty standard broker nothing special really 
they have got a lot of clients, they are regulated, so they're okay and safe to use as an e if you're looking for an ECN broker and you can trade effects with them accordingly. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope that helps. Don't forget to get my free training underneath. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.